What's up you guys? My name is Nautical Angel 7 or you can call me Jess and today I will be showing you a DIY on how to make your own greeting cards. I'll be providing a list of the tools in the description below, but I'll also walk you through it. So I start off by folding a 12 by 12 inch paper pad that I got from Michaels. I chose a dark color scheme because I'm making this for a dude. But I'm sure other girls, including myself, would really like this color scheme as well. Next, I'll be using a boning tool to flatten the fold evenly. If you don't have a boning tool, alternatives include a ruler or the handle of the scissors or even the back of a butter knife. Just don't cut yourself with a knife and if you do, it wasn't my idea. <laughs> fold it in half one more time to make a square. Anyway, in my opinion, it's more heartfelt to give handmade cards like these. I use the boning tool once again to flatten the sides of the square. Now I'm going to use this corner rounder to give it a more polished look. Alternatively, you can use scissors to round the edges. Hey, look how cute that is. Look at that flawless 10 out of 10. This is a cutout uh, in a cardstock from Michaels. I use the corner rounder again and this will go on the front of the greeting card. It says not just any other day because it's for his birthday. I'll use this adhesive or tape runner. I forgot what you call it. These are my mom's or Life at 50 and Beyond's tools. And I use it to stick uh, the cutout on the cover. Paper crafting is something that my mom and I do. Making cards are like another creative outlet for me. It's really a good release, especially since I'm a pre-med student. It's good to have this kind of balance to help me relax. Now I put the cutout on the center of the top of the card. Next off, I'm going to design the interior. I use these other cutouts to use as layers on top of the other. On the white card with gold border, I will write my dedication. To add the pop of color, I use the burgundy scrapbooking paper to give the backdrop some depth. I'm going to use this washi with key designs to embellish each of the four corners. I cut at the edge of each key approximately an inch long. So to those of you who are not familiar, Washi originated from Japan and you can get these from Michaels, Joann's, or even the Dollar Tree. It's an inexpensive way to decorate your paper projects. Okay, so tap each of the washies a bit just to make sure it sticks because it will be horrifying if it unravels. So now we're gonna kill it. Okay, just kidding. 
<laughs> with an awl, I'm gonna punch a hole on the other side of the card. I'm doing this to add a key accessory so I can stick with the theme. I'm using a small twist tie to hook it onto the card. Then I flip it over to the other side to secure it in place. Lastly, use a masking tape to make sure the accessory won't fall off because that too would be horrifying. And that should be it. Next time I will show a tutorial on how I made the envelope for this card. But that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, click subscribe to join my crew. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!